when visiting companies you find the most wicked stuff and this is absolutely one of those machines that i've never experienced before in 55 inch six player cabinet that has a lot of weird things to it but also where is this thing marketed for and also what can you actually do with it that is what we're going to find out today so stay tuned and let's see what are we actually going to get with this machine that i found with custom arcades begin with this is not your typical arcade machine this is more of a gambling machine it's time to go fishing and yep this is actually what you do inside of one of these games there are multiple games you can find and also buy for this cabinet he bought this machine from china but that's actually one of the places you can get those nevertheless i don't know if like normal casinos over there in other counties will have machines like these or are they just purely made for the asian market so when it comes to these let's say fishing gambling games I will also explain in this video what you can actually do with it and also how to upgrade it because you can have different modules for this thing that are quite expensive are going over 800 freaking dollar each but I understand they are asking so much money because there is some tech involved this is not your plug and play Pandora's box device that you can just use there are a lot of cool features to this device and a lot of cool things that I've noticed and not of course the 55 inch display looks quite nice this is not like a cheap display they slept in here this is like one of the premium displays because the ips panel they're using this is absolutely stunning because you're sitting with six player on different locations of the machine you need to have a perfect viewing angle otherwise it will ruin the gameplay experience for one of the players that can be playing with the fishing table but what are we actually going to get beside the buttons and the RGB joystick and how does this game actually play? So first of all, let's talk about this key. This is more like the service key that you can implement into the player's controls. And here we can add new credits and configure some things. This is one of the ways you can actually play now, of course. But what you need to do is shoot webs and have different weapons and put a bed in it. Because that's actually what you do. You're putting a bed in it and here you can put in credits and as you can see the credits can be implemented fairly easy this way but of course normally that is not the way how you need to play the gambling starts when you need to put in a coin or put in a bill to buy credits that's actually how it works and when you're going to configure this in game you can shoot a certain power that costs certain credits and you need to use real money but it's even kind of weird that there is this tiny remote control that seems to be also having extra options inside the game itself. For example, mini games can be adjusted, but I guess you can adjust a lot of things in the cabinet itself and will give more prizes when it comes to putting in money and getting bonuses out of the game. But how does it actually work? So you can move around to the left and the right, choose your target and shoot. And you can see it costs 500 credits every single time, pressing up and down, we're even going to get different weapons Plasma cannons, the most crazy things can be bought and can be changed out too. And here you can see when getting a fish, it will grant me extra credits. And you can also adjust it and saying, hey, I just want to like get my credits back, press the button and getting your money back. So this is actually the gaming mechanism behind it. You shoot fish together and who gets the most biggest prizes out of the playing field here in quick gameplay. But what is actually happening over here, there is this gameplay going on where they're coming smaller and big fishes. Of course, how bigger the fish, how bigger the credits you're going to be winning. But you need to do uncertain damage to uncertain, let's say, enemy or a fish in this case. Even that I've switched my weapon and went to the maximum damage, unfortunately I cannot do enough damage to the big fishes coming by. This is more like a moment that you need to, let's say, shoot stuff with four or maybe six player and in the end one person will be victorious the credits can be added by money and that's actually the gambling system around it where i'm personally not a big fan of gambling in general yeah maybe i can understand if you're going to be with six player it can be a fun thing to do but it's just the fact that the system in my opinion is rigged there will be a certain amount of characters on the screen and you can adjust it right when he's shown you. But let's open it up and take a closer look in the inside. So when it comes to the specs and what you're going to get, there is no specification list of the machine itself. But we do have an active subwoofer with USB port. And the monitor, it's quite surprising that it works on VGA and not HDMI or DVI or a digital input. Over here, we're going to get ourselves the controller board, the subwoofer, 
the main board that can be interchangeable and later on we're also going to do a teardown with another one and you're going to get two power supplies for controlling everything and i think one of them is going to be all for the rgb lighting around the camera because this thing is absolutely one carnival when it comes to rgb lights i think it looks pretty damn cool in the dark but let's take a close look in the package because in the package from china they were going to get yourself a different upgradable board you combine a couple of them so you can get yourself a gambling machine with the gambling machine you can buy yourself like different main boards and what i understand of that these things are around 800 dollars each absolutely crazy amount of money i've been looking into the machine to see what we're actually going to get for components and what are we going to get in the kit so we're going to get ourselves a power supply some control board and it looks like a mini pc and a lot of extra cables but okay so let's do a quick overview what are we going to get and what are we going to get inside of the mini pc this is just a mini pc this is the control board what i understand of it is not interchangeable but different let's say other main boards what i understand of because it also has a sticker aladdin adventures this is the mini pc or the unit that you need to buy for so much money so over here we're going to get different connections there isn't dvi output optional but you're not using it for this particular monitor it's just going to be in 12 volt power supply 5 amp for powering on the main board itself and we're going to get ourselves the different cables like a power cable and display cable and one for connecting the CSB for credits or something but let's open it up let's take a close look inside the main board because it's quite interesting to see what kind of specs we're going to get at least or what kind of situation and you can already see this is nothing like typical it's not like an old Dell Optiplex that they slapped into a new case no this is something completely different here you can see that it has even a special main board on top of it with some interfaces, two fans for cooling and there is one single RAM module over there. But when you're looking at the overall concept of it, it is something of a mini PC where they are basing this on. But it's not something they grabbed out of an old Dell Optiplex and slapping some software on it. No, this is a unique kit, but that is why it's so expensive. I have no idea why this is. You will have a different game, but in my opinion, it will be the same stuff and the same gambling game that we're having with fishes. Okay, guys, thank you all for watching. Consider subscribing and hit the little bell. If you want to have more information about this, check out the channel of Custom Arcades regarding more arcade stuff. Subscribe to the channels. It would be great to see you in the next video.